Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the Patreon, Frank. How's it going? <laughs> We're not even on the Patreon. What am I saying? Wait, what the fuck is wrong with you? Welcome back to the basement yard. I Welcome meant to, say. to the basement yard. Yeah, this not the Patreon. Right, just basement yard. Although technically, if, nope. we're, if we're gonna get technical here, no, we're not. Uh, this is our Patreon for like people that are the. W- Don't confuse people, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are starting early with the Hawaiians, baby. The, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. You're baby. Baby. Everyone's baby. Is, are they? I, I am a big proponent of calling friends baby. Baby. Because I text baby a lot to our friends. Fucking not me. <laughs> I'll hit you up like, sup, slut. Hey. <laughs> That's what I get. Well, sometimes you text me at the weirdest times. Like when? Like, I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck you. I just fucking debunked. <laughs> You're bah, so bah, bah. Fuck you! <laughs> um, no, I, I think baby and like real like signs of affection because toxic masculinity. Can't say it again. <laughs> say the word. Say it. Toxic. Yeah. I got the hiccups. What's going on? You said masculinity. Why do you have the hiccups? <laughs> what are you drinking about? Oh my god, you hiccup like Pinocchio. <laughs> like a cartoon over there what is that i'm sorry are you kidding me with this <laughs> it's happening why are you hiccuping like this i'm gonna get <laughs> would you have champagne for breakfast dude? <laughs> i wish dude this is not a normal frequency of hiccuping like this is a <laughs> are you fucking with me I swear, this is not a bit yeah, i'm gonna get rid of it that doesn't work how much air can you talk <laughs> Stop! No, I'm tr- the trick you- is, it's always worked for me. You suck in. You're not a hiccup. Well, oh. That's not a hiccup. That was a hiccup. You suck in, hold, suck in, hold, suck in, hold, suck in, hold, as much as you can, and then you... Mm, that sounds slutty. Mouth. You ready? Go. Okay. You don't have to do that with your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> He's breathing like Come this. Come on. Uh, Let me do fine. it. You're fine. Let me do it. Let me do it. Hold on. <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> They're gone. They are gone. Okay. They are gone. As I was saying, I toxic even... masculinity is out. Yeah. You're trying to bring it back, but I'm saying no more. I'm not bringing it back. Uh, you're right. You you said it never left. I don't think it's, like, inappropriate to be, like, super, like, affectionate with your boys. You're right. So, like, baby, I love you. You know, babe, kisses. kisses and hugs. Let's redefine masculinity in male friendships. Do people XOXO anymore? I have a, a family friend who that's her, like, calling card. She's, she's she, XOing? XOX. Socks. Ox. No, it's just OX actually. Ox. Oh, like an ox. She like she'll see, and you know her from the lake. She'll see like a picture of the kids, or like a picture of like me and Becca, I'm and she, she'll just oh, bro. If I show you my messages from her, it's just ox. Oxes. Fucking straight down. Hugs and kisses. Which one are hugs? I think hugs are O because oh, they're more bloop. It's, it's circular. Bloom. And then a kiss is like it, you gotta hit the X on the spot. Ah. You got no, not like that. Yeah. X marks the spot. Kiss on the spot. That's the spot? The lips are the spot. Some people would say there are other spots that... Yeah, they're a little south. Because <laughs> that's spot. There's this X spot. There's a G spot. There's all, tor- oh, there's all sorts of spots. Oh, that's right. Uh, but, yeah. I Like, babe, I love you. I Every time I leave here, every time... You say I love you. I say I love you, and yeah. you begrudgingly say it back. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why. Because it's uncomfortable for you. It's not uncomfortable. I'm just not used to it, I guess. You're like not. you guys, I love you hard in your house. Like whenever you would hang Very up hard. with your brothers. Oh, or your so sister. you're saying like there was a not you didn't get I love you from your parents? No, they would, but it, it, you guys do it like when like every time you hang up the phone. Yes. Like we don't, we never did that. Oh, really? No. No, we're big lovers. Not like to get you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like in a culty. No, stop what you're doing. Way. Stop, yeah. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> My words got the best of me there, and I apologize. To who? You me? and them. 
No okay. One no one else in here. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, um, hey. <laughs> Fuck? How are you? You said you wanted to ask me. Yes, a I did. Question. I saw. I, I saw something uh, that I wanted to ask you. Okay. Um, because you know me. Yes. I I I scour uh, the world in order to bring quality Just content. Just say what you have to. Uh, don't even say this. What are you <laughs> why saying? Why not? What do you mean? Why you not? Scour the world for quality content. Is that what you're going to say? To bring it to you and to the masses. Okay. Uh, and I saw a question that I really wanted to ask you about. Okay. Now, we're big. We're big sandwich fans here. Big. Big sandwich fan. What's your ultimate sandwich? Build your ultimate sandwich right now. I'm not going to get into this argument with you again. I know. We're not arguing on what the sandwich is because you make fun of my prosciutto sandwich all the time. I, 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 I think it's good. I just think that like it's there's not enough. There's a lot on it. It's, I would eat it. I'm t- let me tell you something right now. I know you would because you're a fat slob. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to humble him every now and then. A fat slob. Um, what is my ultimate sandwich? I don't even know. It's got to have like chicken on it. And it's got to be like when you go like this, it's got to be juice. It's got to be it's just fat and wet, like a wet. Oh mouth. yeah, it's spitting at me. Oh, oh okay, yeah, in your mouth. Well, what? <laughs> you had someone spitting in your mouth. No, just like get it all over my hand. You want you want a messy? I love when you have a messy sandwich and it like sticks to your hand and rolls down this way. I absolutely despise that. Why would you Whoa, like that? Oh, I like. You like it's... getting sauce down your arm? I don't like it, but I like it because I, you know, like it's a it's a, a telltale sign of a quality juicy m- fucking meat boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. When I take a bite of it, like a burger, and it's just fucking, just like pissing down my arm. That literally has never happened to me. Really? Where a burger's pissing down my oh, arm. Good you know one. what I hate when you eat a saucy sandwich, and when you take a bite, the whole sandwich kind of like slides out. Out the back? And then I'm eating just bread. Yes, I hate and then that. And the bread will never line up. Oh, it's my so God. so slippery and slick. I don't like that. I, I hate that. I, that's why sometimes I'll put like my hand on the back of a sandwich when I eat it, just to make sure it doesn't fly out the back. How do you eat it? What not, do you mean put it on the back? Not all the time. No, what do you mean? So though? if I if I'm eating a sandwich, sandwich hands. Yes. I always go pinky out for sandwich hands, though. Do you? I don't know. I don't know why. I think it might be because I'm trying to avoid the drip subconsciously. Although I kind of like it. Okay. Um, pinky out. Yes. Bite. You could just Frankie answer the I, I question. Don't, <laughs> that I, I, don't know. I didn't ask for all this. <laughs> if if it's like one of those like super wet burgers or sandwiches, <laughs> I'll, I'll put my hand behind it like this and I'll bite it like that just to stop the the slide. Oh, I see. You know how you were trying to stop the steal? I'm trying to stop the slide. <laughs> so you're saying you eat sandwiches? Not all the time. Like this? Sometimes. Sometimes oh. if it's like, if it's a very wet, sloppy, because like you said, when you bite on a sandwich, yeah, and there's tomato, mayo, lettuce, and it kind of all comes out the back, I like ha- like like a like a chicken cutlet. Yes, yes. The and mayo it comes makes out it the slide. back. Yes, it comes out the back. I don't like that because then the bread's off. Then I got to like catch up to the meat. I need to take like an extra just meat bite. Yeah, yeah. So I take it. I put my hand behind it to make sure it doesn't slide. Uh Uh-huh. But what if it's like a longer sandwich? I know what you're trying to do. (laughs) I know what you're trying to do and I'm not going to fall for it. If it's a longer sandwich. First of all, how long of a sandwich do you think I'm eating, Joe? (laughs) I don't know. I was just trying to get you to go. I know what you were trying to do. But I was eating a burrito the other day and I went, what am I doing? Because I gripped it like a bear would. Like, I was like like this. That's that's the way to eat a burrito. I usually just one-hand it. Oh. But I'm not going to eat a burrito like this. Like I'm, like, I'm praying. Let's be honest about something. Yeah. Burritos are one of those sandwiches that, like, the appeal is that they're fucking fat. So, like, you need to double-hand those bitches. Yeah, of course. I mean, you, yeah. You, that's the, the whole appeal of a burrito is, like, this is too much meat for this little wrap. Uh, so, <laughs> let me just fucking double it. So, a wrap is just a skinny burrito. Yeah, they've it's a big sandwich has just like redefined. Yeah, like a what? burrito's just a fat wrap. Bingo. But also, it's a little thinner. Who wrap? Uh, burritos. Burritos are not thinner than wraps. No, no, no. The like the, the the bread itself, the breading itself is a little thinner. Oh, the because wrap. when you have a wrap, say you have like a chicken Caesar wrap, it's like three times wrapped. So like they'll be like really like fucking like bready bites. You know what I'm saying? It depends where you go. My question that I was gonna pose you. Yeah, Joey. <laughs> Is a taco a sandwich? Is a taco a sandwich? No. Why Why not? Because the bread doesn't touch. Does bread need to touch for it to be a sandwich? Yes, it needs to be. No, a, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Encapsulated. Because look at regular sandwiches. P- 
parallel pieces of bread. Okay, you're, you're talking about a, a sandwich in a cartoon, Frankie. N- you ever make an actual sandwich? The bread touches. No, it doesn't touch. It does touch. When you grab a sandwich and you go like this, what happens to the ends of the bread? They're touching each other. Yes. Oh, okay, Joey. You could go like this on the edges of uh, uh, like yeah. a any. No. But you can't with a taco. You don't eat a taco like fold it like this. Some freaks do. Soft no. shell tacos. They hold it like this and they guide it into their mouth. Okay, be careful. Um, is that I, not- if the taco is like, this is a taco. It's bigger than a taco. I would think it's a little more triangular. A little, a little more, because it has like a little. I love when they a, bring out the fucking the the little trays that are just like dit, 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 and they put three genius, of them on there. Absolutely genius. Amazing. They whoever made that design, multi billionaire. Probably. Hope so. Billionaire probably heavy, but, uh, yeah, it's not a sandwich. Yes, it is. What makes it a sandwich? Um, the fact that it is meat, and bread and stuff encapsulated in a. A starchy substance, a bread of a, a. So a wrap is a sandwich. Yes. A burrito is a sandwich. Yes. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No. How are they not? Because they're different. It's just a different thing. It's you, 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 think a sandwich, you, you, don't go, you sit here and you grew up in fucking 1950s America where you have your white picket fence and you beat your wife when she comes home. All I'm saying is that sandwiches could be different things, Joey. There's not these classifications of like a sandwich is one thing and I'm going to go home and I'm going to tell my wife about it and she disagrees. I'm going to like fucking lock her out of the bank accounts. There is a very specific. (laughs) Frankie, if I say I want a sandwich, do you go, I would also love a burrito? No, I'm going to say what kind? And then you're going to say. I'm going to list off ingredients. I'm not going to list. I'm not going to say the bread. If I say I want a sandwich, you go, what kind of sandwich? I go. Ham, turkey, lettuce, fucking... Yeah, and I'll say, how do you want it prepared? What the hell? No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. How I do you want it prepared? I absolutely would. I, I, who would answer that question? Well, that's like, that's like Joey, that's like, um, that's like if I were to say, oh, I want a Band-Aid. A Band-Aid is a very specific brand, but there are other types of Band-Aids out there. You know what I'm saying? So, this is the same idea. No, what? It's just your, your, you know, you say you want a monotheistic band-aid. mind sees sandwiches as one thing. Monotheist. Yeah, Joey, you believe in one God and one sandwich, and that's it. <laughs> God. I just, what were the, what was the consensus online? Were people saying that it was a sandwich? Oh, there's no consensus online. Come on, Joe, it's online. I'm going to look up the definition, the, uh, the Oxford Dex, def, Oxford <laughs> Dirt 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 Bird. The Dexter Laboratories definition. Oxford Sand. You know sometimes you have a weird accent when you say burgers and forward. Burger. <laughs> what is that? Why is that weird? Burger. You always make fun of the way you, I say, you say shit. It like there a, are certain words that I will agree. I You I, say it like a Sesame Street character. Burger. I do, <laughs> I do watch a lot of Sesame Street with the kids. Do you? Um Ruby. Loves wow, absolutely loves Sesame Street. I actually just got a text from my wife saying, "Look at the crib cam." So let's see this, and and my daughter's sleeping. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> just text back, seen it a million times. <laughs> wow, she's sleeping. Yeah, what did you expect? She was like making potions in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Oxford's. Definition Oxford's of Oxford's burger. Come on. Yeah. Oxford's definition of sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It says also in British English known as a sarnie. No, it's uh, not. Well, we're not Britain. Um two slices of bread. Often Already sp- off to a hot start, Frank. <laughs> often spread with butter. What? That's what it says here, I swear to God. I mean, I'd be down. With a layer of meat, cheese, etc. between them. Mm. So it, it, all right. Oh, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oxford, we've agreed. There's some stuff there with the English. I haven't, I haven't agreed There's some stuff there. They've, 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 they've you just said we agreed. We didn't agree. <laughs> they've done and said some stuff over well, the years. Okay, you know, a couple right. wars, a couple... A couple wars. Inventing a couple weird stuff. Yeah, you know, the sun never set on the British Empire or something right. like that. Stuff like that. Now, technically, mm-hmm. two slices of bread can meet and they can wrap around something. Wrap around. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So that is still technically a sandwich. I think when we when the idea was conjured up, they had a very specific understanding of what a sandwich could be. Mm-hmm. But technology has come through. We have new ways of doing things. You think the English were caring about what they were doing in Mexico? Not for the reasons you think, Joey. <laughs> I think if we allow for an inclusive environment 
we could see other parts of the world. Just shut the fuck up. A just shut up. A taco is a sandwich. No. It's and just so a is a taco. burrito. And so is a hot dog. Why do you want a taco to be a sandwich? Why can't you let whoever made the taco have the taco? You're like, no, no, no. This is the thing that we made too. Joey. As an American man, I need to define things for yes. the rest of the world to work around what I believe they are. I, that's what I was getting at, and I just wanted you to admit that. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what we do in America. I know. You know, Team America, baby. So you're off Bud Light is what you're saying. No, I'm a, I, <laughs> I'm a big Bud Light. It's so funny. That has continued. We talked about that last weekly episode. People are still pissed. Yeah, yeah. And now they're making up numbers like, Bud oh. Light has lost $7 billion in Bro. a week. I love how. Hold on, hold on. I love how. Hold on, I love how. You you go. Thank you. I love how conservatives are just like yo you fucking and they're all southern by the way right, yeah. in my head. Yes. You fucking Libby Libby snowflakes. You get so offended at the first thing and it's like Bud Light gives a beer to you know a trans activist or, or whomever and they're like no yeah get him out <laughs> fucking, fucking shoot him. I saw a, a thing on Twitter of a guy who created a. Uh, a beer for not gays, basically. It's called a... Uh, Wait, for not... So for heterosexual... America's been buying beer from a from a company that doesn't even know which restroom to use. <laughs> Talk about Bud Light. I, I gotta say, that's a, that's a funny it's, opening it, line. It, no, it gets funnier. Okay. Because it's like this whole... Ready? This is real. Right, 100% woke free beer. Woke free. It's woke As free. Conservatives, we're watch this. Watch. Left and right by the woke mind virus. But the last place we want it. Watch. Is in our beer. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Look at, Listen. It was so funny because just to describe, I know my phone is very small. It is a little small. See. The guy is making a commercial being like, fucking, you know. We're conservatives. We love beer. And, and he's like, he's got a baseball mitt and he catches a baseball. And then he goes to throw it. And he's like, fucking, what is Bro, this? the worst. Also. I literally tweeted him. I was like, you probably should have cut that part out. Yeah. Also, using music that was ripped straight out of a gay club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dancing, dum dum dancing. That's, uh, this guy, I don't think this guy realizes he shot himself right there. I wanted to buy it and drink it. Well... Okay, let's do it. I know I wanted to, but then there, it's. What do you think it tastes like? What would be? What would it like? Uh, just like a fucking real disgusting. Like we hate every other people. Beer <laughs> tastes like. Uh, beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just like all the other ones. I mean, I, I would buy it, but it's it's like a pre-order, so I was like, oh, the joke's not gonna be that. The joke funny. isn't gonna be that funny because you have to wait for it. Yeah. And the idea that probably maybe don't support people that are having such. You it know, literally like, says conservative dads, one hundred percent woke free. You, well, you are the freedom. opposite of every single one of those. You <laughs> yeah, are not yeah. a conservative. Not you a are not a dad. Not one hundred percent woke free. Yeah, I think you're a pretty you're a pretty progressive minded man. Yeah, I don't. I think actually you're like an entirely progressive minded man. Now that I think about it, I would say that. So remember we had the remember we had gay beer. We did have gay beer. Gay beer back a couple episodes ago. By a couple, I mean over a year. Made made me feel gay. What's wrong? I loved it. <laughs> no, I mean that beer is actually good. Apparently they do well too. What do you mean actually? Were you expecting it to be bad? No, I thought it was like a gimmicky beer, but it wasn't. There's all right. Hear me out. Probably shouldn't. Okay, it's not. No, nope, I'll say it. Go ahead. What if they just start getting like real, like leaning into it, like if, trans beer? Yeah, like this was a seltzer. Now it's a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's an untapped market there. I mean, maybe, or like a wine turned into a beer. Water into wine. That's trans. That's and, whoa, they, and, whoa, and, Christians, whoa. and Christians. Oh, Chris, oh the Christians. Oh, are, careful. The, careful here now, the Christians Joey. Christians and the Republicans are so against trans, but we're this guy literally transitioned, <laughs> transitioned water into wine. <laughs> yeah, no, that's trans liquid whoa, gender. Whoa, what happened? You can, igno you can accept the pronouns of wine after Jesus touched it, but yeah. you can't accept the pronouns of men and women walking around? Jesus. What's wrong with you? What's going on? That's not very Christ-like. Uh, you know? Absolutely not. If he's able to transition a boom pow like that, you know? Like water well, right You know what they're going to say. The, the, the conservatives that watch this show, none, <laughs> uh, are going to be like, well, that was a chemical change. Like, blah, blah, blah. 
I don't think it was a chemical change. Um, I think wine and water are chemically compose different things. Bro, Jesus is probably sick, dude. He's Bro, probably like, yo, let's get fucked up. I hope he like actually does come back, and he's just like, <laughs> you guys are, you guys are, like, you don't, you got me all wrong, baby. Yeah. If he comes out and he's wearing like a protect trans kids shirt, yeah, and he's dr- well, and he's drinking like sangria. I was gonna say like now he probably wouldn't turn water into wine. He'd probably turn it into like a seltzer or something. Yeah, he'd be like, and like now one of those... I present to you like the blood of Christ in today's age would be sangria or like a mojito, like Ooh. one of those canned cocktails. Let me tell you something right now. Jesus never had a mojito, dude. Uh, and if he did, he probably would. It wouldn't be wine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm telling you yeah, right it now. Be wine. <laughs> he'd get one sip of that mint and rum, and he'd go, "Holy shit, where's this from?" You get that black cherry white claw. You'd be like, take this, my child. <laughs> Fucking sip on that. It'd Can you re- imagine walking into Have you been in like a Catholic church? Um, Have I in my life or recently? No, in your life. Yes, of course. You know, like everyone gets up and they drink from the same. And it's like. And instead of, instead, yeah, instead of the, the chalice, it's Jesus like a bomb. kicks the door down. It's like, why is there only one <laughs> cup? Everyone get some fucking shit. Let's get hammered. He just starts tossing. He has a tray of shots. And he's like, hear my child. Peace be upon thee. Peace be, <laughs> peace be with you. Peace be with you. And also with you. Dude. Yeah. I think, no, I'd be better if Here's he, the limes. If he just, <laughs> just getting fucked up. If he just came out with like a bong. <laughs> like on his head. And it was like, you know, you, you go up, you go up to accept like the Eucharist. And then he's like, all right. Oh. <laughs> It's my blood. <laughs> it's my blood. Yo, oh listen, my God. we're not blaspheming because I'm Catholic and I don't care. <laughs> That's the difference. No, yeah. I do care. You don't care. I kind of. Um, oh, my grandma's going to be so pissed at me. She won't. She can't feel feelings. She's somewhere. <laughs> I was gonna She's say, in the ground. I, I was going to be honest. I was, I was what were you going to say? Oh, you were going to say hell? I was going to say hell, but uh, no, I, I, that no would be more way. That would be one, nah. more offensive to your mom. And two, met your grandmother, pure of heart. Yes. She's Let me tell nice. you, that woman lived life by Jesus' code. If anyone deserved to be up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's on the front line. She also had some fat earrings. Oh, I didn't know what you were <laughs> going to say. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you just <laughs> your grandma had some fat titties, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never. I don't even think I looked at your grandma's tits. I don't think I've seen a grandma's tits. Well, obviously I've seen my grandma's tits, but I said I haven't. Oh, I thought you said obviously I have. No, so obviously I haven't. Oh, okay. She wore big clothing, big jackets. She did wear them. She, I remember she always had like really beautifully bedazzled earrings. She had big. Yeah, she it looked like a turtle shell. It, it, yo, I swear to God, that was the idea I had in my head was yeah. like turtle esque. She was very like pearls and earrings and shit. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you? I have early, early memories of my childhood. Okay. That's just childhood memories, right? Well, no, no, no. But like early, I can remember like my fourth birthday. What the hell? Yeah, weird stuff. Okay. Really weird. Do you remember any of your parents naked? <laughs> I I remember peeing into. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I remember peeing in the Pe- same toilet as my dad. Oh, and that wasn't terrifying. I I saw the dick. That's, I can see. Bro, it I know how toilets work, yeah. and if you, I assume you're young, yeah. you're a dick level height. So I wasn't at dick level height. I was peeing into a fucking. It wasn't like that. Why would I be? How would I be peeing if I was that close to his dick? I know how. How are you peeing in the same toilet? Just just standing over it, peeing in it. Yeah. Like this? No, but I have to be higher because if I'm if if he's up there peeing into so a what, toilet, so you're taller than dick. Yeah, it was taller than Dick. So what? Here? I don't know. I don't. I don't know the right. I don't know is the answer. You're not. If you're this tall, you're too old to be peeing in the same toilet as your dad. <laughs> oh, that was what you're getting at. That's well. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, do you? What about your mom? Do you remember your mom naked at any point in time? No, I don't either. Thank my God. dad. My dad, though, I I remember him naked. You remember that fucking Dick? I actually, well, chokes. You remember that <laughs> Colombian chorizo? <laughs> <laughs> El chicharrón. Yeah. Uh, God, I love chorizo. You not, can't, that you can't, not that kind. Not that kind. Not that kind. Not that kind. I'm not gay. You're fucking gay, dude. <laughs> Got him. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, no, I actually, because of like, I remember my dad naked growing up because he, we were, he would like take the kids and I, the kids and I, my, my, <laughs> the my, kids and my I. brothers and I like in the shower. Yeah, I used to do that too. So now as a result, I've been permanently scarred. And I, when I like, when I'm showering and I leave the door open, I keep my boxers on. Like huh? when my daughter's like running in. Oh. Because there's no way I'm going to have her stare. Wait, what? Oh, wait. When you're showering with your daughter, you're when I'm yeah, so there are sometimes Joe, a house of kids. It's kind of tough to. Frankie, I'm asking a question. I'm not saying. I'm explaining. Sometimes I shower and I'll leave the door open. So if my the so, bathroom door, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So my daughter will run in and she'll like play right outside of it, but I don't want her to look in and be like, "Is that a weenie?" Yeah, yeah. you know. So I keep my boxers on. Got it. Yeah. Is that every time you shower? No, 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 no. Just, just the times where, like, you know, all three kids are home at the same time, and, you know, they're being nuts. So I'll be like, listen, I'm going to shower. I'll leave the door open, and Ruby, like, runs in and, like, brings her toys. She can, like, play and stuff like that. Oh, okay. You know, but I don't want to scar her. I don't mm -hmm. want her earliest memory to be of my wiener. <laughs> Why? Your earliest memory is your dad's wang? Not earliest, but early but enough. But it's, but it's it's top three. But scarily early. It's, like... Seared into your mind. So if you close your eyes right now, you can see your dad's dick. I remember, yeah. <laughs> I. <laughs> Why do you think I like staying up so much? I can't sleep tonight. I can't sleep. <laughs> All I see is my dad's oh. wiener. I remember throwing up in pre-K. I remember my X-Men playing cards that I had. I remember some stuff in pre-K too, yeah. actually. I remember I threw up and like picked myself up between desks and threw up just cheese doodles. Okay. I remember shitting my pants in pre-K. Vivid memory of, like, oh. me being in the bathroom and having to change. Wow, look at that. You're bringing up pooping again. It's a memory, bro. Yeah. It's seared into my fucking soul. What do yeah. you want me to do? I remember. I actually remember you pooping your pants, too. It was a mess, dude. You it really, was not a mess. You need to clean yourself No, better. it was a mess. No, it, I mean, was it was a mess. a mess. It was the type of, like, poop in your pants where, like, your butt cheeks were covered in poop. How would you know that? I remember. No, you don't. I was there when we changed you. We. Yes. No, I went to the bathroom with Miss Paolella. I remember. Where's she? Probably living her life. I don't know. Uh, you think she remembers us? But I was in pre-K, and I had to, like, change myself. She came to the bathroom with me and just handed me the stuff over the Well, it was stall. a Catholic school. They were probably they didn't want to get caught up in some of the stuff that was out there. Yeah. You know. Um, but also, like, how, did I know how to do that? Change yourself? Yeah. I mean, you knew how to She's poop like, your She's like, you pants. gotta wipe up. You knew how to poop your pants. I assume you knew how to clean it up. Dude, everyone knows how to poop their pants. No, you lose that no, ability. You don't. Yeah, you do. I could poop my pants right now. Do it. No. Why not? Because of the cleanup. It, Maybe if I was in my apartment, I would do it for a, a small amount of cash. Really? How much? $750. Done. <laughs> really? Cash? I will. If you shit my pants. If, listen to in me. In my own apartment. Listen to me right now. I'm throwing the pants out, by the way. Listen there's, there's to no me. Saving <laughs> well, yeah, no. You throw all. You throw Frankie, all your articles of clothing shit out. Shit my pants. Let me. Let me be very clear. Mm -hmm. You have to document you pooping your pants and prove that you pooped your pants, and I'll Venmo you seven hundred fifty dollars. Really? No. <laughs> all right. For how much for me to piss in a in a gray pair of sweatpants so you could see the piss? And you record the whole thing. Just standing there and just you'll see the water. Three hundred bucks. The easiest money I've ever made ever. <laughs> really? I I honestly think it's hilarious. Oh, do you? Like when you're just standing there and you just see the piss. How much to let me pee on you? Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> no more fun. Um, we do have some sponsors for today. <laughs> the first one, well, this is well, okay. You do the second one first. No, no, no. <laughs> the second one first. Yeah. And then the first one, because it sounds like there was a weird transition there. So this sponsor, this this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Gotcha. Uh, BetterHelp is online therapy and counseling. You can talk to a therapist in just under 48 hours. They make it very seamless to be onboarded into their system. Um, and it's, uh, it's great. I mean, I've been in therapy for over two years. I think it's amazing. Um, even if you don't like it originally when I started therapy, there wasn't like a reason why I was doing it. I just thought that it was helpful, uh, and that it would be helpful and it's been great. So do it every single week. It's amazing. And I think that, uh, if you want to jump in to the world of therapy, BetterHelp is a great place to start and, uh, you can discover your potential with BetterHelp. Go to betterhelp.com slash basement yard. Uh, today you get 10% off of your first month. Uh, and the reason why you want to do that is because other like if you use in-person therapy or you know whatever 
Uh, it's very expensive, and this is uh, much more affordable than that. And you also get this 10% off your first month. Again, that is betterhelp.com slash basement yard, uh, and you will get 10% off your first month. Uh, again, betterhelp, uh, spelled B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash basement yard. So get to it, folks. Uh, and then next year we have Squarespace. Uh, Squarespace is a site that's going to help you build out your website, whether you are you know, promoting your content or you have an e-commerce business or whatever the case may be. You want to build a couple landing pages or something. Um, you can do that through uh, Squarespace. <clears throat> and that's how I've kind of built every website that I have pretty much ever gone out of my way to build. Actually, one time I used a different service that I don't remember the name of, and it took forever, like months. Uh, with Squarespace, you can... They literally have a bunch of beautiful templates that you can click on. It makes your site look amazing. You could just change out like the uh, the text, so you could have a beautiful looking site, and it's not very difficult. And like that's the biggest thing um, that usually takes a so long. And on top of that, they have a lot of features um, that help you sort of, you know, track analytics and know where the traffic's coming from. So it's very helpful. Um, and you can uh, head to squarespace.com/slash-basement. Uh, uh, for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BASEMENT to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Again, that is squarespace.com slash basement for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BASEMENT to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay? There you go, folks. And while we're here, coming close, coming a little closer, I'm going to tell you about the Patreon Basement Yard continues the fun on the Patreon, all right? They used to be two boys that wanted to make you laugh and cry, and I need you to go to patreon.com slash the basement yard and go and sign up for one of those tears. I know Joey hates this. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> go easy on that desk there, guy. You broke it. No. Someone did. Slap it on me. Boy. But there's, a, you know, Patreon.com says the basement yard. There was a little, there was a little, little cutie, cute one for you right there. Joey, I bet you don't know what that jingle's from. Bet you don't know, bitch. I do know the song, but I don't know the name of it. Oh, um, well, learn it, bitch. Oh, Seal. No, not Seal. Oh, is okay. Seal? I'm going to let you oh, figure it out. Oh, it's Rose. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash the basement yard is the best way to support the show. Now, listen, we have a lot of fun over here. And that's the way that we like to continue the fun because not only do you get these weekly episodes in advance when you sign up for that first tier, that second tier gives you exclusive episodes and exclusive little featurettes. <laughs> that we like to do for you guys. So thank you for being patrons. So uh, we just passed 19,000. It is legitimately, we have had no idea how we've gotten here, but we want to keep giving you guys, uh, you know, something to, to smile and laugh about. So we're going to keep doing stuff for you guys and keep climbing up those ranks on the Patreon leaderboards. We want to be number one. And I think it's actually quite possible. So thank you so much for all those guys that have, and girls and everyone in between that has supported. And thank you for those who will continue to support. Uh, Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Sign up to get the boys moving up those ranks, baby. Yeah. The Dalai Lama kiss a boy. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, know how to, I didn't know how to transition into you that. You can't throw that up. You can't thrust that upon me. Uh, well, it's been thrusted. And someone, and then also, I heard that he asked the boy to suck his tongue. That was that was the thing. That was the thing that he had to apologize for. Can I ask a serious question? Well, the kiss, I think, also. I'm gonna just. I'll say it because I feel confident in my brain to be the idiot here. You could barely get that <laughs> sentence out. Is the like who is the Dalai Lama? Oh, dude, I was hoping you didn't ask me that because I have no idea what <laughs> or is, how or when the Dalai Lama is. Is it like it's one person, like Mother Teresa, or is it like, like a, a title? Like I think it's like a pope. Like you know how like there's been like multiple like Spider Men, like uh, well, it's not like that. Is it like the title? Is it like I think he's just a guy who like is it's like a pope. He's good at advice. It's like the pope. Yeah, but he's just good at it. Like, a, like he's got a lot of quotes, quotables. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know what they do. You should look it up. The Dalai Lama. I think you should look it up. I think it's a title, right? I used to think it was an animal. One thousand percent, I did as well. Yeah. I'll, let's just put that out there. Is Dalai it for Lama. Hinduism? I forgive me, and this is legitimately me asking because I don't know. <sighs> Tibetan. 
It's well, their spiritual leader. It's their sp- the spiritual leader leader of Tibet. Tibetan Buddhism. A Buddhism. I was gonna say Buddhism, but I then I didn't. I didn't know, and I'm sorry. Well, he's not watching. He's got enough to worry about now. Yeah, well, he's. <laughs> There's a video. Oh my God, is there a video? Oh no, I have to. St- the Dalai Lama apologizes after viral video of him kissing a child. It was innocent and playful. Mm, is it though? I you sure about, about that? that? I don't know about you sh- that. You sure about that, dude? I don't know about that. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Lama. You can't get a boy to suck your tongue, Listen, obviously. I'm jo- take it from the man that asks all the time, Joey. Shut what you, How? You Shut just up. Said, you just said obvious, bitch. I did. I was talking about this. I said, obviously, you're not supposed to kiss a boy, yeah, you idiot. Yeah, absolutely. You're an idiot. <laughs> Dalai Lama kisses a young Indian boy, tells him, suck my tongue. That's the weirder part. Now, listen, people are like, when it comes to... You know, like religion. Like oh, he's religion. got an office. The Dalai Lama's office said His Holiness wishes to apologize to the boy and his family. Do you have a Twitter account? Gotta. Like I said, he's got a lot of quotes. All I see is his quotes all the time. Go see if the Dalai Lama has a Twitter account. I'd like to see this. Mm. Oh, here's the story. The child approached the Dalai Lama and asked if he could hug him, so the leader invited him on stage. Kissed him on stage. Uh, you're, making a, you're making a statement. Showed him his point. cheek and invited him to give him a kiss. A kiss. A kiss. First here. That's the quote. Apparently he said, first here. Oh. The Dalai Lama kept hold of the boy. Mm, this isn't getting good. So here, first here, and then he and then he did this. Well, I don't know which was here. Um, oh, oh, the Dalai Lama kept hold of the boy. That's not That's good. never a good sta- like sentence in let, any... Let the boy go. Yeah. Um, saying, I think here also, and then placing a kiss on his lips. Dali. D- Dali. And suck my tongue, he said, then sticking out his tongue. Forehead to forehead with the student. Ew, dude. I don't... Let's be very clear about Mr. something. Lama, dude. Let's be very clear about something. If my wife asked me to suck her tongue, I don't know if I would do that. That's a very... I'd be like, when did you brush your teeth? But that's a very wet, like, intimate, like, sucking of tongues. You ever suck a tongue? I think I have, but I've not on... I've definitely per- sucked a tongue, and I'll tell you this right now. It's weird. It's not good. It's it's a strange texture. It, it's it's like you're... I feel like I'm sucking an eel. I, if I suck something, I expect it to come straight off. You know what I mean? Oh, like, my God, dude. What are you... Whoa. <laughs> what you, like, listen, listen, listen. Like an straight oyster. away, I expect it to come. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> I mean, like... You gotta be good at stop, it, Stop, 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 stop. Listen, Don't suck your Stop, it. listen. I want it to come straight down. Listen to what I'm saying. Like, think of, like, the foods that you like slurp or suck well you know me all pretty much everything all of them exactly it it feels wrong if they don't like like if you if the power of your suction doesn't fully get them you know what i mean (laughs) my i'm not doing myself (laughs) you're doing this you're just digging a hole i'm not doing myself any favors no you're not bro i've i know what you mean though because when you suck like a like an oyster yes you want it to you want it to shoot don't say no, it. Okay. Don't say it. We know we know where it goes, but don't say it. You, you do guess, want it to shoot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're Yeah. There you, is no way to say it. There is no way to say it, so I'm gonna stop. Yeah. Um what's with religious like people in like the hierarchy asking mm. for kisses? Like remember the Pope? Well, at least the Pope was like, come here, kiss el papa. What he did that? You don't remember the the Pope? That's like the Pope's thing. He's like he's like yo, kiss kiss me. They do the hand. He kiss, people kiss the Pope's hand. Yeah, that's different than than this. No, but like asking for it is the weird part. If people come up to you and they're like, "My Holiness, Mwah, thank you so much." Oh, but he's like, yes, yes, yes. yes. Or, and like if the Dalai, if someone went up to the Dalai Lama and was like, turned their cheek and they was like, "I love you," Mwah. but like if they were like, "You love me," kiss me. Here, yeah. not here. Mwah. This is so fucked. This is so fucked. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. This We've established a, we're going. Freak, we're going to join your grandmother in hell. All right. So don't we're, you dare <laughs> say that about my grandmother. If anything, your grandma's in hell. <laughs> no, grandpa though. He might be. Tibet, you're you're Tibet, gonna no sell that completely, aren't all, you? Tibet. Oh, I wasn't even listening. Okay. Uh, Tibetans say the Dalai Lama suck my tongue video. Is being misinterpreted. There's a very easy way to interpret it, I and mean, it's a not a good way. I'm trying to figure out how this could be misconstrued. I, I I think it's like it's like the way that 
All right. I, do I'm I want to gonna... watch this? I don't even want to watch. No, video. I don't want to watch it either. I don't want to watch a, 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 a grown holy man kiss a boy. The weird. I, we've said this. If the Pope were to come around and we were to be like, Pope, we love you so much. Like, can I give you a kiss on the hand? Different. But when the when they ask, mm. when the Dalai Lama is like, come here. That's creepy. Yeah. And then and then the, this double creepy. Yeah. The stick sucking my tongue. Yeah, that's just like super horny and not cool. It's a little horny. Not a little. That's a ton. That's a ton of horny. That's a ton of horny. Uh, Especially don't... if you're like a religious figure, you're not. You're supposed to abstain, aren't you? From yeah, but you know they get a, they get a, they they get there's around loopholes. it. There's yeah, loopholes. they get around like the the Mormons how they like they do the soaking. They're like technically, dude. Yeah. Technically, if, if I'm not thrusting, we're not fushing. You know. <laughs> do you ever see the videos on TikTok of them uh, like someone going around the campus of uh, BYU and being like. Uh, would you rather watch a porn video or die a horrible, excruciating death? Most of them said the the horrible, excruciating death. Well, they're being they're, they know they're being recorded, so they're just doing it for the views. Joey, who's watching? Clearly, you. No, I mean, like, yeah, but what do I give a fuck? I'm watching it, going, watch the porn, you idiot. Um, excruciating death. Yeah, you know, I think that there are people. I think it's all great that you have a fucking thing that you believe in God, red, but the wood in the earth. Mm -hmm. But like, come on. It's just a little fuck. It's a little. It's a little cheeks. I just the the part that gets me that's a, that's just very strange is that like there are like collections of people that have these intense beliefs, and then it becomes a little culty, in my opinion. Like you want to have your beliefs practice on your own. You're just That's describing a, religions, though. Well, I, yeah. I mean, read the tea leaves, Joey. You know. That's not an expression. Read the tea leaves. I don't think so. Read the tea leaves. Is that a thing? Look at the fuck up, you stupid pig. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> stupid pig. pig is so funny. Look, <laughs> Look it up. Read the tea leaves? Is that like read the writing on the wall? It's like for some reason there's tea leaves. Things are written on tea leaves. Yes. Am I right or am Read I right? Read the tea leaves means to use signs or signals to predict something that's going to happen in the near future. Well, okay. Yeah, that's kinda. like the writing on the wall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm not, you know, I, I allow and allow, like I could stop people. I support people that, you know, practice whatever religion they choose <laughs> to. Allow. But like, you have to admit, there are certain sects of it that get a little culty. Yeah, you could argue Mor all Mormonism is one of those. It's a little meh. And weird... the fact that they have like colleges... I just think it's weird that they wear full, uh, like like night long johns. Yeah, to bed. yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. What about, it gets With hot. that little like like little dumpling hat, you know yeah, what I like mean? It's it hot in Utah. How do you? Is it that hot in Utah, dude? It was like over a hundred degrees when I went. Really? Yeah. Uh, where was that park you went to that you always tell people about? Zion. You love telling people about that. <laughs> No, love. We went hiking, but I don't talk about it that often. But like, there were animals. You brought it up. I wouldn't have brought it up, bitch. You want to bet? Yeah. You love talking about how much you hike. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I don't even hike that much. I haven't hiked this. Mm. That's not true. Yep. There you go. I don't think this is a good look for the Dalai Lama. I think. Oh, the PR team for the Dalai Lama is going crazy and working overtime. Is there? Why is there a PR team for the Dalai Lama? Why did? Why oh, the I was Dalai just saying that. But I assume he has one. Well, clearly the office, the office of the Dalai Lama. The, of, the office of the Dalai Lama. Yeah, they're working double time. They, they had to like put out a statement. If I were to ask you to suck my tongue, guess guess what I would say. Twenty five thousand dollars, bro. I'll suck it out of your mouth. Yeah, twenty five thousand dollars. All right, all right, all right. Four thousand. No. Five. Six. I'm getting warm. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Cash? Yeah. All right. I mean, I'll take like store credit. What would you offer me? For to suck my tongue? Yeah. <laughs> $5,000. All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh, I don't I don't want to pay. You just said you'd offer me 5,000. Oh, I don't want to pay you. Well, who would? I, I, like a third party would it's come in. It's a business in. expense. No, no, no. Yeah. No. 
what? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Why not? You could file it as a business expense. <laughs> Imagine my account. Do it on like, camera. My account's like, what is this five thousand dollar <laughs> thing? It's like, uh, it was a promotional thing that we did. <laughs> Frankie sucked my tongue on an episode. Yeah, it was. It was like a, it's for work. <laughs> He's like, I don't think you could expense that. Why not? Just put it down. Just put it down. Do you ever, like, what's, like, the, honestly, mm-hmm. I don't know, and maybe you can't say, like, the number amount, that's fine, but, like, in terms of, like, the classification of the item, what's the strangest thing that you've, like, written off as a business expense? I don't think anything weird. Do you think there are, like, like adult entertainment companies that are just, like, man. <laughs> Dildos and stuff? <laughs> well, like, that that stuff I've I've written off in the past, like... How many dildos are you buy in Joe? Well, no, if it was for like a video or something, and anything I have to buy for a video, so it's like, oh, for this dildo I have to write off or something. So if I wanted to do a Patreon exclusive episode where yes. we were to drink alcohol, uh huh, I could we could write it off as a business expense. One hundred percent. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, I could write off dinners and stuff. I well, dinners I understand, but like, but there's alcohol at dinners. No, no, no. But I mean, just like buying the alcohol. Yeah, of course. I didn't know. I have a. I actually have a a, a thing in my. Notes for a Patreon exclusive episode. The hell was that? No, I've been thinking like notes. <laughs> what the fuck. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for the company card and just go buy a couple bottles. Cool. I don't know if you're gonna get it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, speaking of stuff that has to do with money, uh, we have some sponsors and we have Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that's going to help you budget. It's gonna help you identify your unwanted subscriptions and help you cancel them. And it can help lower your bills. That's right. Uh, you just upload a photo of your bill and you put it into the app. And then if they can negotiate it down, they will do it for you. Um, and there's a budgeting thing. So you can set a budget to make sure you're not overspending. It'll send you a notification like, hey, you, you're getting close here. Um, and unwanted subscription things, that's a huge one because me personally, I have signed up for free trials for things. I know that I have one for like YouTube TV right now that I'm probably not going to use. So I have to find that and cancel it. Um, cause I don't know how to do it. I tried and I don't know how, but, um, yeah, it, uh, it, it, um, identifies these unwanted subscriptions that maybe you signed up for or something that you were using for some time, but you haven't used it in a couple of months. So it's like, oh, I can get rid of this. So you can put some money back in your pocket, learn how to budget a little better and help lower your bills. Uh, so it's great. So go get rocket money, uh, stop throwing your money away and, uh, go to rocketmoney.com slash basement. That is rocketmoney.com slash basement basement okay put some money back in your pocket learn how to budget and let's go crazy all right rocketmoney.com slash basement and lastly here we have seat geek seat geek big fans at the seat geek you know that's where i buy all my tickets for any sort of concert or you know a broadway play or sporting event whatever it is i'm buying it on seat geek uh, and the summer's coming up Go to a nice, like, outdoor concert or something, you know? Like, let's pregame this thing and go crazy. Um, but you can uh, go to SeatGeek, and it's great. Every ticket has, like, a buyer guarantee. Also, they're graded, like, color-coded. So, like, a dark green is, like, a really good ticket. A dark red is, like, you might be overpaying for this, okay? So stay away from those. Um, but you can use the code BASEMENT for $20 off your first SeatGeek order. Go download the app. Uh, use the code BASEMENT for $20 off of your first SeatGeek order. Uh, and, yeah, go check it out, okay? Go to something. Go to a sporting event. I'm trying to hit baseball games. Oh, yeah. Yankees. Yeah, you know what baby. I mean? I'm trying to hit concerts outdoors. What concerts would we both like know. to go to? A lot. Actually. Queen. Queen? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Adam Lambert. I was going to say, well, Freddie's dead, Frank. Yeah, Adam Lambert tours with them now, Joey. Yeah. Are they still, he's still doing that? I believe they just are doing another Adam tour. Adam Lambert's fucking good. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's Absolutely great. unbelievable. Yeah. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know a uh, Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gift, side, gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. 
Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. You ever Have you ever met someone who is like kind of like a little bit of like a kind of homophobic but they love queen and you're like i got some stuff to tell you about really i don't know that i i don't know i don't really know many people because you stay inside you hermit no i'm saying i don't know many actual homophobic people uh, there's one person i know who i would classify as a homophobe and uh one of the people that i interact with though like I know people that have like said weird stuff, and I'm like, well, not a homophobe is like they're just like they don't. I don't want them around. But like, if you were to be like, you know, like jokingly like hug them and like squeeze their butt, they'd be like, don't you dare, you know, <laughs> squeeze their butt, which is another thing. But uh, and I remember there was a Queen song on where we were in like the same area, and he was like, this song rocks, but this Freddie guy, gay, <laughs> big gay. Do you remember? When we were at the top of the hill party a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. you you know how you you know how I get into my music when like there's live performance and we're like you know hammered, yeah. And I like do the guitar and I like fall back into you or like whatever. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that there was a gay man that came up to us when we were doing either Fat Bottom Girls or or Bohemian Rhapsody? It was definitely Fat Bottom Girls. And was like, "Are you sure you guys aren't gay?" They said that. You don't remember that. <laughs> Really? Yeah, and I was just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's what the internet says too. They're like, yo, these dudes are gonna fucking, <laughs> you know? No, I, I'm all, all due respect. I love you. Don't you dare say what you're about to say. You, you know, you're not my type, Joe. Well, you're not my type either, bitch. Wait, how the fuck am I not your type? Because I like him a little more rugged than you. I'm rugged. You're not really. I'm rugged. so rugged. You're not rugged. Look, I'm very rugged. Look, look at you. You're not rugged. I'm, how am I not rugged? Because Why? Because I'm not wearing a fucking flannel in 80 degree weather, you stupid, dumb idiot. Yeah, but look at you now. You're too angry, too. You fly off the handle. I don't like that. That's a very rugged thing to do. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not rugged for you? No, it's not. No? You can never be what I need, Frank. I think I could be exactly what you need. <laughs> That's what you think. You don't even want me. I don't want you. So why do you need me to but have I you? I want you to want me. I want you to want me. I need you to need me. I don't know this part. I want you to want me. I don't know it. Uh, me, uh, yeah, we lost it. Eh. Oh, Dila, 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 see you crying. Oh, Dila, 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 see you crying. Dilla, 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 spill and die. <laughs> it's one of those songs that I'll sing every time I can. Dilla. Dilla is so dilla. good, dude. Dilla. Dilla, dilla. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to sing it. That's a good combination of words. Dilla. Dilla. Yeah, it's so good. You know? It's like fun. Are there any other songs that you don't know any of the words to, but you'll sing hard? Tons. You like? Tons. Um, I, don't, I, I don't know because sometimes... I'll be singing the song like when the radio's like louder than me and I'll just like say a thing. Like it's, it's just like a noise, but then I hear someone else say the words and I go, oh shit. Uh, technically <laughs> what you're hearing, you're repeating, but you don't know what you're saying. At all. Yeah. And I, then when someone says the word, you go, that's the word? And then I'm like, oh. Uh, bro, there have been multiple times where I thought I was saying like something and then I really like am saying the opposite. Dude, I hate when people call me out when I'm doing that too. Yeah, they're like, you don't know the words. And it's like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I know the sound, bitch. Yeah, people used to make fun of me for that all the time because I would listen to a song and before I had it down packed, I would just say whatever in the tone of whatever I was listening to. Is it down packed? Yeah. I thought it was down pat. Down packed. Is it packed? Oh, packed down. Packed down. Are you positive? No. It's funny how this is happening like in real time kind of. No, no, no. I'm Wait, not. is it down pat? I've had it down pat. Got it down. It's down pat. Wait. Yeah. Mm. Wait, is it? No. If you, what I think it? it's pat. I don't yeah, I it's like pat. It's pat. <sighs> down pat. I like packed. If I'm being but honest, you packed it really I tight it down. Real tight down in there. Push it down. I pack put it, it, put down. it down. I got it right down Push in there. Push it down and pack it down. Everything is right where I need it to be. Yeah. <laughs> But like, I'll say this, Sean Paul. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. None of the words. I don't know. But I'm singing it. I'm singing it too. If I hear "Get Busy," 
It's got shake that booty non stop to the beat drop. Just keep shaking it, get jiggy. Get crunked up, cracking in. I don't cracking. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was like get crunked up, crapping in. Crapping in. Maybe it's one of those two. I gotta imagine. Get busy lyrics. Joel, have a good time. Well, the the uh, shake that booty non stop when the beat drop. Just keep swinging it. I thought I it was thought, shaking. I thought it was jiggling. Jiggle it. Just keep shaking it. Get yep. jiggy. Get just crump. keep jiggling oh, it. Oh, I, I was right. I thought it was per, it was percolate, but I don't know what that means. Get crunked up. Percolate. 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 Any, anything you want to call it. Oscillate. Your hip? I don't know, Joey. Oscillate I don't, your I, hip and I don't be take honest, pity. I don't. I, I got I to gotta say, I don't think that the impression is doing you any favors. Yeah, it's probably like not sick. <laughs> not cool. But like... <laughs> It's okay. It's, uh, Chet Hanks could do it. We could do it. Yeah, it's fine. Right? Who cares? I'm a straight white guy. Nothing's going to happen he to gets me. Away, and you don't have a famous dad. <laughs> yeah, oh, thank God. Um, uh, but yeah, dude, I'm so... I'm so off with what I thought this song was saying. Yeah, I don't know. I don't it says, think... get jiggy, get crumped up, percolate, anything you want to call it, oscillate your hip and don't take pity. Oscillate? My guy's putting words in there that are like... Oscillate's like, like a fan. Isn't it? It's like oscillate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's exactly, yeah. Yeah, oscillate your hips, dude. Shake them back and forth, so, I guess. Damn. Your sexy ladies want to paw with us, in the car with us. They want to... Them not war with us. In a the club, they want flex with Can us. Can you read it normal? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. It sounds written. But no, like you're doing it in the... Like, just like read the words. In in a the club, they want flex with us. They get next to us. They non-vex with us. Non-vex. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Sexy ladies want par with us. Yeah. In a de car with us. Dem now war with us. To get next with us. Dem seeing vex with us. From the day me born, ja ignite me flame. That one I understood, I think. Gal uh, called me name and it is my fame. It's all good, girl. Turn me on to the early morning. Let's get it on. Let's get it on to the early morning. Let's get it on. Get busy. Get busy. Yeah, get busy. yeah, yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Okay, all right. I think we got it. Okay. All right. Not all right. I think we got a D minus, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. But what I'm saying is like, I know the song, but I don't know the song. I don't think you need and to. And there's a lot of songs like that. And it's okay. That's how you learn songs. Right. And it's all right. Get jiggy. What about temperature? Oh, don't. It, it Garlem skill art. Legalize it. Remember that? Oh. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> legalize it. Oh, legalize it. Legalize it. Time to recognize it. Go ahead. Uh, it coming. No, I'm it, not even going to try. I, I have a feeling we're going to get a little this in trouble. It. This is not it. I have a feeling we're going to get in a little bit of trouble for this. From who? Sean Paul? I think he might come for us. No, I hope. And might ask us to flex with him and non-vex with him. Not, it's not non-vex, <laughs> but it's written in like, I don't know. I can't. Oh, uh, 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 we can't decipher it because we don't understand. We don't have the tools needed. We don't have a Rosetta Stone to understand what they're saying. <laughs> Rosetta Stone. <laughs> I used to be really into Rosetta Stone. Do you know that one? <laughs> Uh-oh. This is so bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I told you this once before, but... Uh, I thought it's like you know Rosetta Stone like the Rosetta Stone is like a real thing. No shit, Joey. Right. So what well, I didn't I don't know, right? So yeah. Rosetta Stone we had one for some reason when I was like growing up. There was like a, a not thing. a real one. No, no, no. The real one is thousands of years old. No, I know, but then there was so we had like the packaging for it or whatever, right? And then I remember one day I was going through uh, the desk and there was a mini one, but it was like a Rosetta Stone. And it looked like a stone, and it had, like, all these different things written on it, like what I imagine the Rosetta Stone looks like. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> you I like thought you, like, I had stumbled the, up, like, I thought I had, like, the Sorcerer's like, Stone. Yeah, this was some, like, 80s adventure movie where you, like, removed a shelf, and yes. you were like, oh. Yeah, like, Nicolas Cage, like, oh, it's a clue. That's really embarrassing. Yeah, I was like, oh. That's it was really. So, it, was, it was also, like. It wasn't made out of stone. It was like black, and I think the back was like felt. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, that's thought. a little stupid of you. I don't know. It's all right. I convinced myself that I was going to be a millionaire because I, I found a plant at the lake house, and I was told that they didn't exist in New York. And I was like, oh, if I bring these to New York, I'll be a millionaire. Because of the plant? Yeah. <laughs> 
told you yeah. that. Meanwhile, it's probably like a weed. Yeah, it's actually exactly what it was. It was, it was a, a weed. It was a, a weed. Not weed itself. Take it easy. Just Mr. a weed. Big legalize it, boy. Yeah. <laughs> legalize it. <laughs> legalize it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I convinced myself that I was like, oh, if I just bring this back, I can make a million dollars. You know, at one time, I used to think that I could see uh, bacteria. Well, in your eye, yeah, that is like a, a form of like something. I remember it's like, like if I like if I like, well, get, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> take it easy. But I have to like. I, no, no, no. I, you if know you, I, mean. I know what you're trying to do, but like, to, like if you like look this way, you'll see it like. Yeah, and you could see things, and I was like, oh my god. Well, my I, no, I, I think it actually is something. Like, it's no, like, it is. It is. It has like, to be. It's like an amoeba thing. But I thought it was just me, bro. No, you're not. No. I thought I was like, oh, my eyesight is crazy. Yeah, no, it's not. I know. Your eyesight's probably worse than mine. It's def. I mean, I wear contacts and, and glasses. And glasses. Yeah, you're all fucked up. It's not and glasses. <laughs> I don't wear them both at the same time. It's yeah. the same prescription. Oh. Why are you getting so defensive about your eyes? Because you're like and glasses, which I can't. You have do shitty that. eyes, Joey. Bitch. Honestly. Yeah. Frank, I'm wearing contacts. I can see everything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if anything, my eyesight's probably worse than yours right now. Yeah, definitely. I well, like you're, you're a squinter. I am, unfortunately. Not to be confused with squirter. Um, I'm one of those. Right. Won't confirm which one. Here recently, Chris Jenner was just like, I'm a squirter. I saw that. On like Howie Mandel's podcast. You wouldn't, you wouldn't take that for a spin, though? <laughs> no. It's like it's like a it's like a sixty-seven. What about with OJ? It's like a sixty-seven Shelby GT. You could admire it from afar, and you're like, "That's a cool car." You want to drive it? Nah. Oh, I want to drive that. You car. You want to drive that car? But not when it comes to Chris Jenner. I don't like old cars because they all stick, and I'll look like a fucking idiot if I try to drive that. Yeah. One time I drove Ralph's car and it was sticking. I it sounded like the bottom of the car fell out. I did that to my friend Carlito's car, and he uh, and he was calling me as I was driving, and I just drove in like the like a parking lot. And I pulled up to him after five minutes. He was like, the emergency brake was on the whole time. <laughs> I was like, oops. <laughs> I've done that too. Yeah, it's not good. I'm like, why does it smell like smoke? Yeah, it's not. It's put not the emergency brake it's on. It's not good. You mm. shouldn't do it. No. Um, but, <sighs> legalize uh, it. Legalize it. Legalize it. I'm so excited to be back here with you. I didn't go anywhere, if I'm being honest. I'm not concerning what nobody want us here. I'm, I'm still doing it. You I'm ignored thing, everything yeah. I said, my yeah. sentimental... What are you worried about? Like, is this, what is this, like, cultural appropriation or something? Uh, well, no, I just think that, like, there are certain accents we shouldn't do. Which ones? Um, that one? Do an Asian one, Joe. Uh, can, all right, all right, do it, how about do, it, do a Jamaican? Wasn't that it? Uh, do it again. Legalize it. No. <laughs> all right, you're right. Do Indian, Joe. Which kind? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, Come on. Yeah, but if I do it like a broken English one, that I get. But I'm not doing a broken English one. Do uh do Mexican. I can't speak Spanish. Do, do it do like you know, like Cholos from LA. <laughs> exactly. My point has been made. I what could do I could do the Cholos because I'm Colombian. And we're like boys, us in Mexico. Oh uh, yeah? I think. Are you gonna go to Mexico? I'd go to Mexico. I'm worried about the diarrhea. Joey, you have diarrhea in America. What's the difference about going down there? He brought it up. Oh, no. no, I brought it up. You brought it up. <laughs> you just said, <laughs> I'm worried about a diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. No, that's like a fear of mine, just like being in the shower. It would like, be like you and your family would have the best time of your life. You can just go around saying, cha, die doodle, cha, cha, cha the whole time. Yeah, we would have so much you fun. You and your fucking freak family. Diarrhea. My fake family? Freak. Oh, I was like, what's that mean? <laughs> that, you that, and your family are so fake. No, no. I would never say that. Mm. I love every one of your family members. Wow. Especially your dad. Okay. Well, <laughs> he texted me something the other day. He texted? Oh, I forgot to bring this up on the episode. He texted you? He sent you? me a screenshot. No, I wish. I oh, wish I had oh. your dad's number. I'd call him regularly. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> you want to bet? Yes. Give me your dad's number. I'll call him today. Uh, Frankie, I'm telling you that's a mistake. Why? Because he will keep... First of all, what my dad does is he'll call me, and I pick up, and uh, it's over an hour. And then when we hang up, two minutes later, calls me again. I don't pick it up. Oh, that's Because mean. I'm like, I'm not doing this again. That's He's mean. like, oh, wait, I forgot this happened. I'm like, no, you had an hour. If your dad texted you saying, like, that Frankie, good guy. He's going, he's good, good for him. I love him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was just like, let's go. He said it to me. 
Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I forgot to do something. What? The Windbreaker's Woo! in stock right now. Wink, 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 wink. What is that? <laughs> Quink. Quink. Uh, Santa Gata Studios, they're Windbreaker's. Uh, they're uh, they're good in the rain. That's what windbreakers are. And they're <laughs> it breaks the wind. And it has a cool little pocket. It's got a pouch. It's got zippers. All kinds of stuff. But they are in the store right now. Uh, Shop.SantaGatoStudios.com. I think is the site. I we knew. We it. heard everyone saying like, I want to wear and support Santa Gato Studios merch, but I also want to run in the rain and heavy winds. Yes. Now you could do. Both. Now you could do it. And they're stylish. They come in two great colors, blue and pink. Yes. Both great. <laughs> and you know me. I'm all about flashy clothes. Yes. Nothing says flash like hot pink. Right. They're great. So go grab them. Um, but that is, uh, that is all for this week's episode. Frank, where can they find you, buddy? <laughs> yep. F. Alvarez8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram and all other forms of social media. And then go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We're climbing up those ranks. We're at 19. 19 and change. We get to 20. Who knows what's going to happen? We get to 21. Amazing. So keep, <laughs> keep. Thank you for the love and support and go check it out again. Yep. And uh, you can go follow me at Joe Santiago. Go follow the show on TikTok and Instagram at The Basement Yard. And that is all. Go get yourself a windbreaker shop.sandagostudios.com and that is all we'll see you guys next let's time let's go party <laughs>